Hello, Simple Suburban Living. And today we're going to do a little update on the aquaponics system, but I just wanted to talk a little bit about um, how I'm planting the seedlings and um, just kind of the system that I'm using and how I'm moving the seedlings into um, the aquaponics system. So we'll go through a little bit of that and then we'll just kind of show you the update on the, the growth downstairs and that. So, um, But basically we're just going to plant uh, some peppers, different types here. I've got some um, banana peppers and some jalapenos and some onions. I wanted to see if they grow in the system. Um, and I'm just using all the different kinds of seeds, just cheap dollar store stuff, things I pick up at the hardware store. Um, and I ordered some seeds online, different types as well. So um, nothing special for the aquaponics, just whatever seeds you can get. Um, so I've been using these little Jiffy um, pods or pellets, whatever you want to call it. They're peat pellets, and there's supposed to be some type of fertilizer in here as well. But they come like this. I bought a bag of um, 50 of them. I think it was under $10. Uh, I probably won't use too many of these in the future. I'm actually going to use some potting mix in that. I bought these just because it was winter time and um, I really couldn't find any potting mix at the time. So, um, But all you do is just take these little pellets and you just put them in water and after a little while they puff up into uh, about this size here. And I'm using this little seed tray that, uh, um, that we have. It's actually not specifically designed for these, these uh, peat pellets, but it's been working out just fine. So... Um, it has a little tray in it just to keep the, the pellets off the bottom and it's got a clear lid that goes over the top of it and we have it just put in here in the window um, where it can stay warm during the day and uh, it acts kind of like a little mini greenhouse. So it's been working pretty good so far. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is actually plant uh, these onions. So I'm just going to grab a bunch of these. Um, I started off when I first started planting these and I was just doing one at a time. Um, but that's that's kind of a waste because you're not going to get a 100% germination rate. So um, these ones you don't plant real deep. So I'm just going to take a toothpick and just kind of dig out some holes, um, maybe like four holes, and then just kind of drop the seeds in there. So nothing special with these. I have found that it seems like the warmer you keep, I'm going to put a couple extra seeds in some of these. The warmer you keep these, the faster they'll germinate. Um, obviously not too hot, but I want to keep these moist, and I'm just kind of burying them over here. And that's it. I usually just use tape uh, to label, as you can see, some of the other ones that I've got going here. Um, I'm trying a variety of different seeds, too. Some of these I've bought. Some of these I've actually got out of... Um, produce that we've bought at the store. So we're going to try to grow some of these cantaloupes that we got. We saved some seeds. We're trying some bell peppers to see if we can grow um, seeds out of some bell peppers that we had in, you know, got at the grocery store. Um, Honeycrisp apples, we actually are trying those. We've had pretty good success with a lot of the different uh, Macintosh apples and we're going to plant a bunch of apple trees. So I've, I've been able to grow quite a few apple trees out of um, seeds we've gotten out of our apples. So um, I'm trying to grow a these oranges actually I found they're seedless but I found a few seeds in these little clementines so I'm trying those as well but um, but that's really all there is to it uh, once the once the plants get about about this size uh, like these two tomato plants here these are cherry tomatoes um, these ones here are a good size to put into the aquaponic system as well as the spinach the kale here is a little bit too small wait till that gets a little bit bigger and then I've got a sweet um, pea that's growing here, uh, or sugar snap peas, that uh, that one's obviously a little too small. Basically, as soon as they're big enough to, you know, hold them without damaging them, I, I try to get them in the aquaponic system as quickly as possible. They grow about 10 times faster in the aquaponic system, so um, I try to get them in there as quickly as I can. So um, I let them grow in here. As soon as they sprout, as soon as I get a sprout, I move them into or out of this little covered uh, um system because this gets so warm and humid in here it'll wilt the um, the plants so as soon as they sprout I've been moving them outside and just keeping them out in the open air and in the sun during the day so uh, that's pretty much it for planting the seeds and we'll go um, I'll get the rest of these planted and then we'll go downstairs and uh, go ahead and move these tomato plants and the spinach into the uh, aquaponic system so you can see how we're how we're planting things so we're down at the aquaponic system and we'll start with the cherry tomatoes because these are pretty easy to plant. Um, so what I do is I just tear off the sides of this um, little peat pot here and uh, this netting just tears right off. I've been saving this dirt because I'm going to use it for um, 
planting stuff down the road, I'll make a little potting mix with it. But uh, I usually just kind of gently try to break off some of the dirt here without wrecking any of the roots. And the roots go pretty deep through here, so I'm going to try to be as careful as possible. They do come back pretty well after you put them in here, but it usually takes a week for them to come back. So separate that one out. And work with this one. So once you get it kind of, kind of good, all you're gonna do is just dip it in some water, wiggle it around a little bit, and you end up with a nice little bit of roots. There's still a little bit of dirt on there, but that's that's okay. So we'll just set this one aside for right now. We're gonna get the other one ready. So the less roots you damage, the better. But this is why you gotta wait till they're at least big enough to handle because you do kind of have to wiggle them around a little bit. If they're too small, you'll end up breaking the only root they have and they'll die. Um, I actually haven't had anything die yet, I don't think that I've transplanted. Some of them have looked pretty pretty bad for a bit, but they've always bounced back. So, um, Okay, so we'll move this aside here. And all you're going to do uh, when you're planting an aquaponics, obviously try to plant it out so there's enough room here, but I'm just going to kind of dig down a little bit. I've got the water about an inch below the surface here. Get the roots in there, and then just kind of stack the rocks around it. I'll get my hands out of the way so you can see here. And then I usually, these rocks are kind of harsh on the plants, so I usually just try to gently push them back around and uh, prop it up a little bit. Now tomatoes you can actually plant, you can't really plant them too deep because they'll actually start rooting right out of the stem, but um, that's pretty good. As long as the bottom of the roots get into the water, the roots will find the, find the water and they'll keep growing down in. Um, I've pulled a couple of plants out from the other grow beds that I've had and the roots are, they, they grow quick and they grow big. So they're all the way down to the bottom within about three weeks. So, and I'll plant the other one here really quick. I'll just pull it over here so it's spot. So it, it just depends on what you're planting, obviously, as to how far apart they're going to be in here. Um, I've made the mistake of planting a lot of things too close together, and then you have having to move things around, and it stunts the growth of a plant a little bit. So um, you want to try to plan things out as best you can. Um, over here in the other um, grow beds that I have, um, you can see I've, you know, like the broccoli plant I put way too far back. I should have moved that out. That's going to have some really big leaves, so I'm just going to leave it and see how it grows back there. but. Um, this one's been the kind of the best growing thing that we've had so far. It's it's just the leaves are all bunched up in here It's so growing so much um, The other broccoli plant that I planted a week after this one in the aquaponics system It's quite a bit smaller, but it's grown really well um, The tomato plants have bounced back. They've been doing really good um, I've been trimming off the bottom branches because there's been a lot of suckers on here um, when I transplanted these from another's place to here, it took about a week and a half for them to come back. But um, as you can see now, they're they're doing really well. Um, got a cucumber in here that's been doing pretty good. Um, this is a cherry tomato as well. This one or a big beef tomato, um, and it's doing okay. It's still still growing decent. I just changed the lights in the system, and I'm actually going to do a video. Uh, my next aquaponics update is going to go all through lights. I've learned a lot. Um, about what lights to get, what light knots to get, and some of the science behind that. So um, I'll talk about uh, talk about that in, in our next update. But um, everything else has been doing really good. The green pepper plant, you know, it's growing slowly, but it's got a real, real hardy stem on it. Um, the oregano has been doing okay. I've got a lot of new growth on it, but pH is still too high. So, you know, every two weeks it comes down about a, a point. So it's at, I think, 8.2 right now, uh, maybe down towards 8.1. Uh, and it's uh, you know continues to come down just a little bit at a time on its own. I haven't been adding any more of the pH down stuff, so um, that's been that. Um, I'm also adding some of this uh, this iron chelate. Now this stuff it really isn't water soluble. It really the plants can't absorb this stuff until the pH is down closer to seven point five. 
So I, I've just been adding just a teeny bit of it. I just wanted to see if, if it would work at all or make any difference. I haven't really noticed any difference with it yet. Um, but this is the stuff that you want to get. It's uh, the derived from the DTPA. And uh, this is actually, um, I think this was like $10. So this is enough for me in this system for quite a long time. So, um, But I'll, I'll talk a little bit more about this once I get the pH down and I can see some good results from it and kind of let you guys know how, how well it's been working. I haven't really seen any difference so far. I've just added a little bit, like I said. So, um, But everything else has been doing really good in the system. Um, the lettuce that I have, the iceberg lettuce, this is the only thing that is, it's grown really really fast and then it browned up um, I, I get I think that's nutrient deficiencies because of the pH is still high so it's a new system about six weeks we've been running it now um, this romaine lettuce it shot way up like I, it took about two weeks for it to go from tiny little little scraps in here to this and uh, then it started to got it dry up but I think I had the lights too close and uh, I think that's what caused it to kind of dry out a little bit so I'm moving my lights up I'm gonna see how that works and then I'll, I'll let you guys know in the next update if that made a difference or not. So um, I've noticed the broccoli plant seems to be dry a little bit and the leaves are a little bit crispy. Um, and then the lettuce and stuff's been drying out in a lot of places too. So um, got a couple little things of kale that have been, I actually, they accidentally got dropped into some water when I was planting seeds and they sprouted up. So I just threw them in here. Um, you can plant seeds directly into into the grow beds. Uh, I've seen a lot of other people do that. I have not had real good luck with that. I've tried a few different ways to do that, and they just never seem to have sprouted. So I'm sticking with planting things in the seed pots and, and then transplanting them into here for now. Um, I'm going to continue to try, though. With lettuce seeds and other stuff, it's easy to sprinkle them through. And uh, I've seen people will do that. I just haven't had it, got it to work yet. So we'll try that out again um, down the road. But So I've got three working grow beds up and running now. Um, we've got some new light bulbs in here that have made a huge difference. And uh, I'll have the last one up and running by the next update. So um, everything else has been doing really good. Um, we'll keep you guys updated here. So two weeks we'll have another, another uh, progress report. And uh, we'll talk a little bit about lights. If you guys have any questions or comments, I do monitor the channel regularly, so please post them in the in the box below. Um, subscribe to the channel. We've got quite a few subscribers going now, so I appreciate that. And um, anybody else who uh, wants to jump in and, and keep the updates uh, coming here, just, just subscribe, subscribe to the channel, and, and uh, we'll keep videos coming up for you. So um, hope this found you well, and hope you have learned something. And like I said, if you have any questions, let me know. Thanks for watching. Have a good one. Mm -hmm.